Hello everybody, welcome to a grocery haul. I have not done a grocery haul in a very, very long time. Um, like, we haven't even bought a bunch of groceries in like a few weeks. I've just been going and getting a couple things as we need them. But today I did a Walmart grocery pickup. Me and David and Mark have some kind of cold going on, so I didn't want to go spread germs around Walmart. <laughs> I honestly didn't have the energy to go shopping at Walmart. So it was really nice. I actually did the Walmart neighborhood market that we have here. And shockingly, there was only a couple of minor substitutions. Everything else was in stock, which is great. I have quite a bunch here. It's all over the counters. And I have more stuff over there, more stuff over here. Everything's kind of a mess, like I said. Uh, we're not feeling good, and we're just surviving at this point. If you hear shushing, that's David rocking Na uh, Mark, not Nate, Mark. Anyway, so let me show you everything. Um, I can't remember how much... I spent it was like $130 maybe I feel like I got a lot of stuff though I did plan a couple of easy meals um, tacos and um, I found this recipe for like a barbecue sloppy joe and um, what else a spaghetti I think um, just some really simple meals that you know we can throw together without having to eat out so much so I'm gonna start over here in produce and I'm gonna show you everything I got today um, some strawberries. These are a little overripe for me, but, um, so for the Walmart grocery pickup, if you don't like the produce or any of the substitutions or any of the things they give you, you can, like, go in the app and say you didn't like the quality and they will refund you the money, but we'll still eat these. Oh, wait. Do y'all see that one right there? That one's, like, really gross. So, I don't know. I may, I may comment that our strawberries weren't the best. There's a few that are, like, really ripe and kind of juicy, so... Anyway, I got two pounds of strawberries, some shredded lettuce, that's for the tacos, and then I got myself some um, romaine salad mix. I'm sorry, you guys. We have been, like, MIA on YouTube, but things have just been so crazy, and we just haven't had a lot of time. Um, a cucumber here, some bananas. I also wish those were a little more... I like bananas that are a little more green, but I wish there was a way on, on there to say, like, you know, green or really ripe these are really ripe so we'll have to eat those pretty quickly a bag of apples some grapes bell peppers and then I got these big packages these are like two and a half pounds or 2.25 pounds I'm gonna do extra meat when I make the tacos and the sloppy joes so that we have extras leftovers some turkey I kind of was in the mood for bagels and so I got some bagel thins you'll see that in a minute but I also got this whipped cream cheese spread David and I were supposed to have, and hopefully we still can, a little anniversary getaway. Uh-oh. Nate, what are you doing with the paper towel? I'm going to have to go investigate that. He must have spilled something. Um, we're supposed to have a little anniversary getaway, so I got a couple snacks for us for that. Uh, and hopefully they'll make it till then, <laughs> this weekend. But our favorite peanut butter M&M's. Um, burger buns for the Sloppy Joes. And bagel thins because I am loving I don't know I just felt like bagels this was a substitution I did order the plain ones and they substituted the everything which is fine I like them both pretty much the same the plain ones are just a little more soft I thought we could have some of this rice actually no I'm going to do a like a rice and bean like side dish with our tacos so you take I don't know what's going on over there I think Nate spilled his milk you take a can of refried beans, so I got this, and then you put that in the bottom of a casserole dish, top it with Spanish rice, and then put cheese on it and bake it. It's really good. So I thought I'd do that, and then I was going to do some baked tacos um, to go with that. I got some apple juice for the kids. We needed some medicine because we feel like terrible. <laughs> so I got some nasal spray and then some Dayquil. I wanted tater tots to go with the Sloppy Joes, and they were like completely out of online of all tater tots, but they did have these crispy crowns, so I got those. I got the kids some party pizza and some, they love these thin cut french fries. And then I got two bags of their chicken nuggets. They love these honey breast tender Tyson nuggets. Um, I got a bunch of snacks, y'all. So cheese curls. I got these for our trip <laughs> to have for snacks. These is David's favorite chip. Doritos, my favorite chip, the Sun Chip Salsa. 
Um, these probably will just get eaten though throughout the week because like I said, we don't feel good and I don't know, I like to snack when I don't feel good, but maybe they'll last through the, <laughs> through the trip. Um, I get, Lucy wanted some erasers. She likes these like bigger erasers, it's easier to use. She uses these at school, but she needed some for at home, so I got her a pack of those. I've been making Nate some homemade mac and cheese lately, and he's really been liking it. So I got this pack, or this pound of elbow pasta. And then I like to put a little bit of Velveeta. And I really like this fresh pack one, because if I just buy regular Velveeta, it like goes bad before I use it all. But this has five individual little, you know, sections. So I put like a little bit of butter, milk, a little bit of Velveeta and some cheddar and it makes a really creamy yummy mac and cheese. My mom had had this in the pantry, the Sam's Choice um, Italia Spaghetti. It's a little more expensive but it's really good. I don't know, it kind of has a different texture than just like plain spaghetti. So I got that for us and then some pasta sauce. For the Sloppy Joes it called for barbecue sauce and I like to have this in the, in the fridge anyway because we use it on different things. So I got the Sweet Baby Ray's. We also had zero ranch, so I got some ranch, and I was in the mood for honey mustard, and they were out of the Walmart one, so I got the Kins. I got Lucy some veggie straws, and we haven't bought these in forever, but Nate loves these cheese it grooves, so I got him a big box of those. Lucy likes them too. I got them some Kool-Aid jammers for their snack at school, some wavy potato chips, and then this like fully cooked bacon. I thought I could do like little breakfast sandwiches with my bagels. Okay, I got a ton of baby food over here. I honestly didn't really realize how much I was getting and half the time when I order baby food on the Walmart grocery app, um, it like says out of stock. But this Walmart had them all in stock. None of them were substituted or said out of stock. And they had flavors that I can't usually get at my Walmart, which my regular Walmart, super Walmart, whatever. So, we have a lot of baby food <laughs> and right now Mark is not feeling good so he's not eating a lot of this but normally he goes through like four or five containers a day of baby food. <laughs> so we are working on table food with him a little bit but he's really loving the baby food. So let me show you what we got. I got one apple cherry, turkey rice. I've never done the meat ones which it kind of grosses me out but I thought the protein might be good for him. It has vegetables, turkey and rice, one pumpkin banana. He loves this one, the sweet potato apple pumpkin. So I got two of those, and I got two of the apple chicken. One of the vegetable beef. The, the meat one's kind of gross me out, but pears. I think he'll like it. And then his some of his favorites are these beech nut ones. They have different like combinations. This is a little focus. This is the garden vegetable, and it has like. Carrots, green beans, peas, and potatoes, I think. It doesn't want to focus. I'm sure you guys don't really care that much, but he loves that one. And he also really likes the mixed vegetables, which is more of like um, sweet potatoes, carrots, peas, something like that, something along that lines. And then he really likes this one too. This is the carrots, sweet corn, and pumpkin. I think that's all I got. And I got him one of these to try. He's never tried this one the banana blueberries and green beans he's not a huge fan of green beans on their own so i thought maybe with the fruit he'd like it and then don't mind our dirty dishes over here i got two gallons of milk some butter bread which we love and then david's diet dr pepper with cherry so that is everything i feel like we got a lot of stuff hopefully i can um cook all this up and not go out to eat because i feel like you know not cooking I don't feel good <laughs> anybody else like that but anyway that is it for today I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned I am gonna be back on YouTube as soon as I can things like I said have been a little bit crazy and hectic with all of us being sick but I'll be back so if you like this video and you want to see more like it make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave us a comment down below please subscribe if you're new we'll see you all later bye Stepping out, it's Friday night